Can't back out. Nope, can't. Got the plan down pat, then let's go! Let's go. Almost time. Yeah! Let's do this! Careful, Joker! We got one coming up! Oh, shadows in sight, Looks like the diversion is working. All thanks to Joker. It's all 
Let's mop up the rest of these shadows so we can get to 705. Joker, we're low on stamina. Be careful. Go ahead.
Mm-hmm. Just add this. I should write something. Awesome! Yeah. Welcome to the Velvet Room. You wish to browse the entries? What will you be registering? Would you like to register all- This persona has been registered in its present condition. You wish to strengthen it? Awaken your new self. It seems that it can gain new power. It seems that it can gain new power. Choose which skill- Seems that it can gain new power. Choose which is this the persona you'd like? Be born anew. Seems that it can gain new power. Choose which skill. Is this the per- Now, let us begin. to browse the entries, you have no personas to register. Awaken your new self. You wish to strengthen it? will you add? This is what you The power of your mask has strengthened this persona. How much power will you add? This is what you The power of your mask has strengthened this persona. How much power will you add? This is what The power of your mask has strengthened this persona. You lack the power needed. Performing a fusion. Performing a fusion. You wish to browse the entry? Please take a look. 
Is this okay? What will you, would you like to register? This persona has been registered. You have no personas to register. May luck be on your side. Now then. Okay, leave the support to me. Let us depart.
be what we need. So, you're the one to fight in this game. You will go no further, but you are dead. Her majesty will have me This one's tough. Careful, guys. Vienna! Yeah. 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 no pushover. Target is weakness so to win. Slide! I might have found something. We can get inside from here. Once we get in the castle, we're headed straight for the roof. Are you ready? Notice us. Hmm. Oh. There. Okay. Mm, nope. <laughs> Shadows here. Did we get 
Must have some try focusing. We're clear. Let's move it. Give 
messing around with us anymore. We've gone quite a ways up already. How much further to the top? There should be a stairwell on the other side of that door. All clear. Nothing to worry Time about here. Persona! Your turn! For Try! I'll count on you! Leave it to me! Invasive filth! You'll never reach the Royal Hall! The cost of defying Her Majesty is your hands. Incoming! The exploring can wait until we know it's safe!
Let's go. You're mine.
Mayor. Outside. Could be worthwhile. coming from. Are you ready for anything, guys? Is this some kind of birdcage? What is this doing here? And where's Alice? She doesn't seem to be here. Hey, hey, look! Is that a treasure? No. I can tell now this is something completely different from a treasure. Brought all the desires? Yes, sir. This is all of them so far. Desires? More are coming soon. Capture every last one of them, seize their desires, and bring them here. Understood, sir. Hey, those are. Those are desires. Yeah. They're the same as what we saw the other day. They were bringing desires here, right? So those jewels are the desires? They looked like they got sucked up into that light. There's no question. That treasure like shimmering up there? That's the desire. That is? We did hear Alice was collecting them. But that was a pile of gems. How come they turned into that shimmery thing? This is just speculation, but... Maybe that up there's the original form of a desire? After all, people's desires don't naturally have a single concrete form. Because we all find our own desires precious. That could be why they look like gems here. When the people had their desires seized by the shadows, they consciously felt them being taken, so the desires took form then. But what turned them back into light? Their desires are still stolen. Maybe Alice is considered their owner now that they're in her birdcage here. Alice doesn't seem to believe they can be stolen back. That 
That's why they turned back into their base form. It does seem to follow logically. At any rate, if we reclaim the desires and release them from this cage, the people may well return to normal. Yeah, that's definitely worth a try. One moment. How does one steal light? A calling card? What is that? It's how we make that shimmery light take material form. If we make the owner aware that someone is after their treasure, it takes form. Desire should work the same way. To do it, we send a calling card to our target that says we're going to steal whatever is most precious to them. I got it. I think. Are we sure it'll work, though? This isn't a palace with a treasure. Nothing is obtained without action. We must at least try first. For now, let's focus on securing our infiltration route. Hell yeah! I'm getting there first! Are you okay? What was that? I swear Skull ran into some kind of jail cell door. Is there another barrier? Am I... hearing something? Sophie, wait! Just go away. What do you think you're doing looking at the guys like that? She is like such a waste of space, you know? Totally. She's such a loser. I didn't hurt to look at her. <laughs> no. I just... The hell was that? You heard it too? A memory hidden by the monarch. Sophie, are you alright? No problem here. However, I did figure something out. That memory we heard is the key to the barrier. How's that? This cage is currently locked. You're right. What's that doing there? It will require a key, which we will find in the room those voices came from. It will be some sort of secret room. But we can't find this room here. We need to return to reality for that. Reality? Why is that? The room has been completely isolated. Its entrance exists only in the real world. How do you know all that? One of your programs or something? I do not know. I merely sense it. Maybe the lock on this cage is somehow linked to a lock in Alice's heart. Mona-chan? If Sophie's right, what we heard just now is a memory of the Monarch. That means it's extremely important to her. I have a feeling that memory is acting as the lock on her heart, keeping us from getting past that door. So the lock's an important memory. It's only natural that the key to this place would be hidden somewhere that no one would find. That logic is indeed sound, but how is it possible? This is all just speculation so far. I've never seen anything like this either. This could be another difference between the palaces and this jail. We can't reach the secret room in this world, you said? Correct. We must find the location in reality instead. And that would be... I was not able to detect it. But it should be related to those voices somehow, right? Hmm. I could be wrong, but didn't it sound like someone was getting bullied? Looking at guys like that. Maybe school age? That could be! Brilliant deduction, Panther. I'm just no stranger to hearing that kind of stuff, is all. Panther... If she's right, does that mean the key we need is somewhere in Alice's old school? That would be logical. Alright, let's go do some investigating back in the real world next. We're gonna need a calling card, too. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us. Really? But 
Isn't stuff like where celebs went to high school easy to find online? Usually, yeah. But this time, no hits, even on the underground sites. All I'm seeing is fake info from deluded fans. Even if she changed her name, there'd still be traces of that somewhere. Usually. Shit, even you can't find Futaba? This reeks of a serious scrub job. Someone, probably her, intentionally hid her past. This is quite the setback. If we don't discover Alice's alma mater, we'll never find a way into that secret room. But isn't it, like, impossible to just erase stuff from the internet on your own? How else could we approach this? sister looks into it for us. She's a prosecutor turned lawyer. Maybe she'll have access to useful intel we couldn't gather ourselves. Oh, that could work. Think it's doable, Makoto? I don't have a problem doing it, but how exactly would I go about asking? Personal information and histories are legally protected, so I doubt she'd readily agree to hand that over to us. Yeah, just asking her to tell us where Alice went to school is not gonna fly. I hear you there. I really don't want to wind up on the other side of a table with her getting all, ANSWER ME! Ah, uh, okay. Alice Aragi's school. It's... it's the guy from... The Shady Detective. I'm Popsec, not just some cop detect. Wait, I'm not shady. Yes, quite. These kids are something else. Would you quit saying that kind of stuff with that smile on your face? So what do you want? Come on, enough of the cold shoulder. You know I'm trying to help you out. You help us? You want to know where Alice Hiragi went to school, right? Now there's an accurate description of Pubsec if I ever heard one. For some reason, there's almost no personal info available on Alice Hiragi. Especially prior to her debut. That is just a big old blank. So, since this is giving you all a hard time, I'm swooped in to lend a hand. Intel and Alice would be no sweat for me over in Pubsec HQ, so how about it? Want some help? No, we're good. We'll handle it on our own. Yep. Just a little more time and I'll get it myself. Great! Happy to help. But... Wait, come on now! This is a real deal connection here! Just be grateful and take the intel. We're sorry, we just have zero trust in the police. I told you to stop smiling when you say that. Fine. I've got to earn your trust first. I get it. Alice Hiragi is your senpai. She attended Kosei High? Hmm? Uh, no. Everyone's senpai but yours. She went to Shujin? And don't forget it. Because you owe me one now. Got it? Well, there he goes. It's hard to gauge whether he's friend or foe. More importantly, how did he know where Alice went to school? Could the police already have their eyes on her as well? It's possible. But it would mean that we can trust him. For now, at least. Well, I guess all we can do now is try it. We can find the secret room if we go to Shujin, right? That appears to be correct. Everything should go... And we'll have access. Wow, 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 huh? <laughs> sure. Yeah. With that settled, let's all head to Shujin now. There's no point in dawdling here. Yeah, Makoto's right. Time to check out Shujin Academy.
decided. Here you go. Have you decided? Thank you so much. Thank you. Super recommended. Um, come back again, Kat. Take a look around. Stop by again, okay? Are you ready to order? Come again. Got what you need. Stop by again, okay? I should write something. Are we sure this is right? I'm not seeing anything weird. I have no doubt. This place gives me the same sensation as when I touched the birdcage. I think this is what would bring me back here. Well, yeah, dude. It hasn't even been half a year since you saw it last time. Still, I had no idea Alice Hiragi graduated from Shujin. I didn't either. And I figured a student council president would know better than anyone about celebrity graduates. Perhaps she had a past here that she wished to erase. What do you mean? Those voices we heard in her jail. Those cutting words and that painful cry. I don't know whether she was one of the instigators or the victim of such bullying. However, she experienced it left such a gaping wound in her heart that she refuses to even acknowledge the truth of the matter. And that truth took place right here. So that's why Shujin has a secret room. <sighs> well, we should get moving. What's next? We may not be in Shibuya, but this place is still linked to its jail. Inputting the proper Emma keyword should permit access as usual. Okay, let's try it. Everybody ready? Yeah, we're ready. Keyword, Wonderland. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. So, it's a classroom? Is this what a school is like? It's rather different than how the internet makes it appear. Cognitive distortion's really strong here. What's going on? 
Hey, look! Ah, a ghost! Are you seriously crying? Ugh, how pathetic. Trying to get us to go easy on you. You tricked him the same way too, didn't you? No, I... I'd never do that. What? What is this? God, you're disgusting. Serious! Why are you still alive? <sighs> do us a favor. And die already! This one, okay. 
Yeah, this one. Persona, you're mine. It's a strong one. Let's go. Exploit its weakness to curse. Grab it, Steph. Give it a go. Watch closely yeah. how you fight. Yeah. Huh? Let's go! Andre! Sure. Someone like 
This one. This one. Okay. This one. Okay. Thank you. That. Thanks. Okay. Persona! You're mine! All right, Joker! Let's go! Sorry. Don't go fast! Stop catching up quick! You guys have turned the world of stamina! Don't overdo it, okay? Come on! There. Say your prayers! See ya! Also. No time. Look sharp, folks. We should avoid wasting energy on our attacks. Let's read the enemy's movement and respond in time. Lost the reading. Where to go? Let's go! 
Yeah. I'm working all over the place now. Quit yeah. cheating, yeah. damn it!
What was that rumbling? The birdcage in the jail is now unlocked. We will be able to access it. For real? It appears our most recent target held the key. In other words, we defeated the warden guarding the key. A warden in Alice's memory. Key to the cage in her jail. 
So a different shadow held the key, not Alice's? What are you going on about? Uh, oh, nothing. I was just thinking how many differences there are from the palaces. Good point. The palaces don't have any rooms like these, or wardens guarding keys in hidden locations. It's as if the more we learn, the messier the situation gets. If it weren't for Sophie, we wouldn't have even made it here. Have I been helpful to the Phantom Thieves? Mm-hmm. You know it. Praise accepted. Well, we'll praise you all you want later. We've got a birdcage to bust open. True. We have one last task in the real world first. Let's send Alice the calling card and take back those desires. Okay, all that's left is send in the calling card. What should it say? After the desires that Alice is seizing from the people whose hearts she changed, right? Then don't we have to write something like, We shall take back the desires you've seized! Smart. Using the same logic that works on treasures is probably our best shot. Once the desire takes form, we can steal it. If we return the victims their own desires... Everyone should return to normal. So... What'll happen to Alice, then? Well, she should be having a change of heart and confessing soon after. Actually, that's not set in stone. What we're stealing this time are the desires that Alice seized from others. This isn't her own desire or ambition. Or like the treasure we found in palaces. There's no way of knowing whether or not Alice's heart will be changed. Even if we rescue her victims, without a change of heart in Alice, this will just turn into a pointless cycle. But if the calling card works, her desire will manifest inside the birdcage. That creates a high probability that we'll encounter Alice's shadow there. We did cause quite a scene destroying the lock. Whether through words or fists, don't we still have the opportunity to change her heart via her shadow? Then let's do it! Let's take her head on! Oh, uh, sorry. I know that's the dangerous approach, but... If you guys are all up for it, I want to rescue Alice too. Not just her victims. Alice said she wanted to be a ray of light that could inspire people suffering through life. You mean when she was on TV? I don't know if she really meant all that. Well, I do. I get why she said it. Because of all the bullying in her past. I mean... Doesn't it seem like we saw part of Alice's trauma in the secret room? Trauma? It's like an invisible wound in a person's heart. It comes from living through painful experiences. A wound in a heart? Maybe that trauma's the whole reason the jail formed. Trauma distorted Alice's heart, giving birth to the jail. is very similar to Palace Generation. I've got to say it's possible. But how is that trauma relevant to Alice's current behavior? This is just a hunch, but... I think she sees what she's doing as some kind of revenge. Against the kinds of girls who treated her badly. Stealing someone's dude right in front of her as revenge to Alice? Oh, that's pretty sick. Her shadow's operation is way too massive for that to be all. She just has too many victims already. What if she simply kept escalating because no one was there to stop her? Becoming a monarch must create an awful amount of distortion. All that only makes me want to help Alice more. 
If her heart's grown that distorted, then I want her to at least remember how it feels being a ray of light for somebody. Is she beyond helping at this point? I don't know. But there has to be someone who at least tries. We can't just abandon Alice. Oh, Lady On. Don't speak too soon. I'm really gonna lay into her for all this. I'm with you. Let's do it. No objections here, either. However, should we engage her in combat, we must avoid taking her life at all costs. Absolutely. That's out of the question. Best case scenario, just talk her out of it. Guys, do you think I could write the calling card this time? There's something I need to tell her personally. Thanks. It'll be great. Writing a calling card? Need any help? Ooh, you can help me with the phrasing, Sophia. Awesome. All we gotta figure out now is the delivery. <laughs> I may have a plan for that. This is a special reunion of the Phantom Thieves. We gotta do this right. Hey. get for you. See you again.
I'll just add this. In other news, Akira Konoe, founder of Medis, announced a joint project with one-time rival company, Pineapple. Tech heads are fired up with anticipation at the news, awaiting further details with them. Hey, look. Huh? Okay, folks, listen up! Good evening. Been a while, huh? Perhaps you remember us. We are the Phantom Thieves. And we're back in action with a new heart in our sights. A wicked witch who treats people like toys. Alice Hiragi. You pretend you're a ray of light, but all you do is hurt people to invoke your own darkness. You're a bad person, and bad people have to be stopped. And all those desires you stole. Tonight, we're taking them all back. Let's go. I should write something.
Now then. Like these, I know I'm supposed to be affected. Hmm. This should give us a straight shot to the birdcage of desire. procedures wouldn't work. All right, Skull. Get to home. Uh, no. Look at the size of that thing. Uh, what do we do now? Uh, how do you steal something like that? I admit, I don't know either. What's that? It's her! Alice. So, it's a fight after all. Desires. Hey, you! Joker, right? Did you come back to me so you could be mine? Mine? <laughs> Alice Hiragi! We know all about the horrible things you've done. You seized people's desires by force and turned them into your puppets. You toyed with people's emotions and made them mistreat one another. You even opened up stores so you could bilk all the people you brainwashed. We can no longer overlook the wicked changes of heart you forced on the people. The Phantom Thieves are about to beat the distortion out of you. The Kamaki-san, you're so beautiful. There's no way you could understand 
You have no clue what I've been through. You mean what happened to you at Shujin? Uh, where did... How? We know all of it. How you were bullied. How it was torture for you. But I still... Oh, okay. You found out. No matter how much I hide it, the past still comes back to me. How pathetic! What a mess! That doesn't matter now. With this power, I can have everything. Everything I've always wanted. Mine! Alice in Wonderland. Oh my! I'm late for a very important date! Come along, come along! I have such wonders to show you! What wonders? Ignore her, Sophie. She just wants to torture us. Alice, I'm gonna make you see the light! Aww, you can't even see like that here! And if you happen to be dating, I wonder who is my guy.
Level 9. This Thanks. one. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Spend it wisely. Here we go. Make me yes. a pass. Okay. This one. There. Okay. This one. This one, okay, this one. Don't you dare! Persona! Grab it, Seth! Keep it going! You're great! You're mine! Go ahead. Yeah. Don't go, don't go. 